whatever your preferences were in other fighting games, they I wouldn't be surprised if when you go into this game, it's completely different. All right, Beans, I have decided purely because I don't want to listen to Nanase music anymore. I'm just joking. Honestly, I just think that this character looks quite interesting. His name is Rondorekia. When it came out, Exolate Claire, in March of 2020, I bought it on Nintendo Switch, and I think we did a live stream. I think we did a live stream with learning some moves with Londrickia. And then I never really played it again after that. I never actually gave this character a fair shake. And when I see like footage of him, I'm like, he looks really interesting, especially especially this button. I feel like his standing B looks really interesting. The fringe benefit of playing this character will be that when the music is chosen on auto, I have slightly less chance of having to listen to the Nanase music. I have nothing against the Nanase music. It's just Difficult to listen to more than once. Before we get into some rondorekia, it's time to choose a color. That's what it's time to do. Green, I'm never convinced by green hair. You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for the color that reminds me of Suzak. Brown hair and a white outfit. Oh, 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 well this is close enough. It doesn't look as good as I was hoping. The cooler color, which one is the cooler color? The leafa colors look pretty good. Red, he could be a, a British soldier. This looks like cooler colors to me. Do you mean these ones here? Next to the orange one, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he looks like a tube of lipstick. This one's got vampire vibes going on, huh? <laughs> I could spend the rest of the evening just looking at these colors. Oh, I like this one. He looks like he's going on a hunting party. As a connoisseur, I feel it is crucial his thigh-high boots remain black. <laughs> to be honest, his switch colors actually don't look too bad. I'm thinking red or this one, Antarctic Emperor. So, when this game released last year, they did a release party the day before, right? And I was watching the video on YouTube and they were introducing all the new features of Undernight Exoplate Claire. But also, they asked they asked Kamone about how they came up with the name for this character, right? Because I was like, I've always looked at his name and gone like, Londrekia? What the heck is that? That's not a name. But apparently, his name comes from Rondo. Apparently, after that, it's Rondorekia because of Doremi, like Solfege. <laughs> Like I didn't, I didn't know any of this stuff, and actually I, I can't remember why they added Kia at the end. Maybe they're just a fan of the car or something. The piano stuff in this mu in this music, I just get tons of Code Geass vibes from this game, especially with this character because he's got such a Suzak, he's got a Suzaku look to him. And in addition to that, this music, it's got all the pianos and the, it's like a mixture of rock and and I don't know Latin Latin stuff, not Latin but sort of Latin American vibe piano music. And I will happily watch. Code Geass every few months over and over again on repeat. I have no problem doing that. Music is so good! What are his- let's look at his, his normal moves, shall we? A. Smack him with the stick. B. See, this move, I'm specifically interested in this one. I like standing B moves that are kind of long. You can special cancel out of this pretty late and it still works. Not quite as generous as hide 6B. 5C? Ice to a thing is, is this actually low? Thing with Nanase is that her 2A, I think Yuzu is the same actually, Yuzu and Nanase, 2A is not actually a low, this is 2B, and 2C. What's 3C? Oh yeah. Okay, this looks reasonable. Has more range than Nanase's 3C. Hyde's, ba Hyde's 3C is basically a flash kick, right? <laughs> it's a one button flash kick. Is this, ah, uh, but here's the question. Is this his only invulnerable? Oh, you can do it twice. What? Jump, th jump 3B. I don't like that. I bet there's a really clever reason for why it's like that. This music's so good. So glad I've chosen this character So for now. This, this standing B, this, <laughs> this, 2B really gives me Hyde vibes. But I guess he's kind of the new Shoto, right? I know that they were definitely thinking about the like new players when they created Londrekia, right? Like they definitely were thinking about making a character that had accessible accessible gameplay. Alright, so this is low. This is overhead. And then this is low. Even if I don't play the character, at least I know what to look for, look out for now. 
Whoa! Whoa, it goes all the way across the screen. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Sweet. Can you see right right here? He's got an Ahoge. He's one of those anime anime characters where he's got like a little teeny little bit of hair. Like for no real reason, Pikmin style. But it's white! I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm not jiving with this 214 for some reason. There's nothing difficult about the timing, but it just doesn't feel right. Maybe it's the pace of the music or something. Oh, he goes around the other side. What's that about? Oh, if you do the B, it does a side switch. Heyo. <gasps> Did you see his face when he does his throw? <laughs> Look, he does this, he goes, I'm, I'm using my angry eyes. How's the ice skating going so far? It's going very well, but it's not... It's not as intuitive as I thought. I thought it was going to be like... Why? I thought it was going to be like ice skating, ABC, ABC, super, and then you're, you're done. But I feel, like, I feel like I've got to do a lot more of like... A, B, I've got like... I'm like down button, no, neutral button. I'm like down button, neutral button, down button, and then... Come on, normal backwards. Neutral. Special, add, add, and it's not, it's not quite as intuitive as I was expecting. What's your favorite character? I don't think I have a favorite character yet in Undernight. This is also one of the main reasons why I've, I keep going through like the whole cast. Like I've, I've gone through, how many characters have I played so far? I've played like just under half the cast. I feel like this game just turns all the archetypes on their heads. Like you might not usually play a zoner, but then you go into Undernight and you're like, okay, I want to play a zoner. Whatever your preferences were in other fighting games, they, I wouldn't be surprised if when you go into this game, it's completely different. Like you, you might really like Shotos that, you know, shoot fireballs and do Tatsus and stuff. But then you may, you may come into this game and go, I don't want to play a Katsuki in this game because it doesn't feel like the same level of power. Like a Katsuki has a fireball, but it's not the same as having a Ryu style fireball. Keep your mind open for sure when you get into this game because Definitely character preferences. Like my character preferences, I think they went all flying out the window when I turned this game on. I was like, don't even. I don't even know what I like anymore. Anti-air. All right, let's see what's going on here. If your opponent tries to attack from the air, three C as an anti-air attack. Okay, so I don't have to neutral jump. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go straight in and play some matches. <laughs> I don't have a. I don't have a very firm idea of how to use them yet. Oh wait, what? This is way better than before. What happened before? I feel we had like a terrible connection the other day. It's amazing. Wow! Reversal! How did we get Nanase's theme? True, yeah, what? My RNG, what did I say about my RNG in this game? <laughs> wasn't ready for that, I wasn't ready. I thought I had an air fireball, I don't. Oh! Whoa! Blocked. No, not like this. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Please hit! Yes! Sweet! Oh no! I did jump C. Too slow. 
I just wreck it straight into it. Oh no! Interesting. Now I'm learning. This Rekka stuff is a little scary. You can't just like throw it out willy nilly. No! What was I doing? What was I pressing? Ah! Uh, perfect anti air, but I wasn't hide. So I didn't get anything. No, why did I press a button? <laughs> no, not like this. Oh, I could have done a super. No, I don't know how to. He's not used to the character. I could have done a super after that. A, B, C, D only works well in cross-cast veil off. Right, okay, thanks. Oh, I was on the other side. So I was just testing something. I don't know what to do after that. Can I do combos after that? Oh, okay. I imagine I can. I was laughing throughout the match because my controller disconnected when we were in the character select. Oh, is that why it took so long to select? No, super in the face. Nope. I think it's fun to play. I don't know what your computer is, but if you can get yourself any cheap graphics card, it'll be better than whatever... I, I, I imagine you're running the game on CPU only. What? Oh, hello. Oh, you can never stand up for that. <laughs> Just can't stand up. I can't stand up. Oh, I got it. Sweet. I'm a genius. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Stand up, stand up. Okay. Ah, what? I wasn't expecting a throw. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming on stream, chatting, keeping it lively, and accompanying me for learning Londorekia.
and then also going in and playing matches. Yo! Tortis! It was fun learning Londrekia. I think in the matches, it gave me a really good idea of what I need to work on. Um, I, I, I feel like he's not super intuitive to my style of playing. So the way that I play, I'm not too, I'm not too good with command normals, as in like holding a holding a direction and pressing a button. I realize that's really very common in Smash Bros. But I think. Even so, like I could learn and get used to it, and he seems he seems like a lot of fun. And wow, I I really feel I really feel for people who are trying to deal with his two one four because how do you ever know? <laughs> like how it's so fast. I, I I really feel for anyone trying to react to these these two one four. Is it is it called Rondo? I don't know what it's actually called because whether whether it's going to go high or whether it's going to low go low. Like he's got so many so many of them, and they all look very very similar. And I, I didn't even get, I, like, I only did it once in a match, but that jump 3B, that was, I mean, it, 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 I did I did land it, but I, I need to, I want to experiment more, because that looks like a super abusable button. That should be fun. Oh, you think Londrick is kind of clunky? It's not just me. Okay, cool. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I think, I think as a character, though, even not thinking about his inputs, just, I like his moves, and I think he seemed, he seems like he was... A very what's the word? Uh, I don't I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but it's very close to workable. I feel like he's workable. I can I can tell like I could I could probably I could probably make use utilize I could probably make utilize this character well if I could just get my hands around him. If I can get my hands around him, then I'll f hopefully be able to get my head around him as well. Recently, there is a short, abridged version of the Kyo Hideshima tutorial that we did on Monday. Even if you don't get stronger, you'll feel more confident, and I think that will directly translate to getting stronger later on. Follow me on Twitter if you're not already, and as I discovered today, we are over 2,000 members on the Nihongo Gamer Discord, so of course, if you'd like to hang out with more people and talk about Undernight in Birth, drawing, Japan, manga, anything like that, just general stuff, join us on Discord, and if you're not already, Follow us on Twitch. Until I see you next time. Bye.